almost. We are live on the internet. We Facebook are live. Nine. We are live. Hello, everybody. No one's watching us. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure they will join us shortly. I think we are talking to ourselves. No. Surely there are people watching. No, none. There are people watching, James. I'm no telling you. No one is watching us. There Byron. are people We're watching. alone in the world. Hello, people. Please they prove me wrong. Despised Pre and prove rejected James wrong. men. Three people. Three people watching. There we go. Hello. Hello. Five. I don't think we nine. have. No. <laughs> can you can see, see us. Hello, oh, hello, hello. Good hello, good evening, everybody. And from the Westerhausen, Christine Coxbang. Yeah, I finally got you all live. Welcome, great. Hello, y'all. Stevie Freezy, um, Sean Holder. Hello, hello. Yes. Hello. yes. yes. Red Heard, letter Lori day. Glory Spencer. Was certainly a red from letter Michigan. Day. James Richard. Good evening. Thanks for all your questions over the last few days. It's been great. Did you have a red letter day? Okay. You don't know what that is, do you? No, James is going to have to explain that to me. I'm not sure where the expression comes from. It means a good day. A good day and a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Uh, what a lucky day, Byron. So this morning we saw, we had lions off the bat, out of camp. We found lions. It was fantastic. They were roaring, so we could hear them this morning. It was really, really great. And we managed to find them with a buffalo kill. Uh, we, I think those females made the kill, though. Don't think it was the males. You think the males stole it from They them. stole it from those Dirty, females. Pilfering, thieving, ignoble creatures that yeah. they are. Somebody wants to know where Byron's drink is. Oh, I guess he didn't get himself. I do, where is my where is my drink? No one, oh, I, I feel bad shouting. Get somebody get me a drink. I'm perhaps. having apple juice, Byron. Apple would you juice. like a sip of my apple juice? I would indeed, James. Mm. Thank you, James and I. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Do you like the um, Do you like the apple juice? I love the apple juice, James. Someone called Toby Trelawney Bonamy Pheasant, who you may have heard of before. So hey, Toby, watching. how are you? Great to have you live with us. Toby um, Trelawney Bonamy Pheasant, everybody, um, is a flaming redhead from England, <laughs> and, and he was he, he works. Does he still work out here? I think I don't know if he still works down at Pinder. I think he does. But Toby started his love for the bush at Londolosi. He came through with his family a number of times as a guest. And that's how I got to know Toby. Toby, great to have you with us. Janine Noble, you say, I need to explain Catholic diet. Yes, well, um, I heard that and I wasn't sure what he meant by that. Either. Well, it's not surprising, of course. <laughs> Byron is from the south of Johannesburg where, well, words of more than two syllables are normally considered totally unusable. Anyway, um, whatever that means. No. Toby's still in London. No. Go on with <laughs> Toby's back in London. Carry on with the Catholic no. diet. The Catholic diet doesn't mean a diet blessed by the Pope. It means a diet that is very wide ranging. So Byron, for example, has a Catholic diet. He will eat anything from a termite to a piece of lettuce to a piece of celery and obviously a peri-peri chicken wing. Definitely a peri-peri chicken wing. Something without a Catholic diet would be something like a wild dog, which only eats fresh antelope meat. Okay, interesting. Yes. I learned so much that. from I didn't know that. No, mm. I've not heard that expression before. You're obviously very poorly trained. <laughs> yeah, whoever trained me did a no. terrible job. Appalling. <laughs> um, right. Who, what, hi, everyone. Miss, from Robert. Yeah, I hope you're all doing great. Hello, Penny. Yes, we, we're doing fine. We're doing well. Thank you. Yeah, uh, very well. Uh, oh, you're else? barely audible. Sorry about that, Yvonne. Can you hear Yvonne, us now? Can you hear us now? Byron, Ellie, dung juice in the glass? No, not this evening. This is apple juice. Delicious apple juice, isn't it, Byron? Mm. Byron, mm. what has James taught you that you don't use? Most of it. Most <laughs> of it. I had to reteach myself. And my years of guiding, I've experienced a lot of stuff that I found James was very wrong with. <laughs> like what, Byron? Give us an, uh, give, give us an example. Um, pardon? <laughs> the, yes. <laughs> James taught me that I must always run the other ranger down, and mm. I don't do that. Really? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. sorry De James. Deborah, you want to know if Karula's got a dyke or a steering book? She's got a dyke. I thought it was a steering book to start with, but it wasn't. Indeed, it was a diker. James, uh, how is your shoulder it's from your acrobats in a tree? See, he taught me that, and I said, no, James, that is wrong, and look what happened to him. Shut up, Byron. <laughs> Be quiet. You're getting above yourself. Single malt tonight, James? Um, no, not single malt. Apple juice. Apple juice. Um, Connie Gildner. I don't have anyone answered, but yes, 
Distemper vaccines for dogs works very well and are given yearly, but to have to be given subcutaneously so don't have darting would work. Thank you, Connor. So, Connie, we were asked a question about whether or not, given the number of dogs, the fact that there are only probably about 350 of them left in the Kruger National Park, would we, could we possibly, um, shut up, I'm re finishing the question. Uh, could we possibly dart them with canine distemper inoculation? It would seem that there is an inoculation for it. I don't know why they're not, they're not doing that. Thank you, Connie, for that. Thanks, Connie. Sean Holder has asked me if I can intimidate a male lion raw. I will do my best. Just say that again. Byronet, oh, sorry. Byronet is here. You're, you intimidating a male lion. Intimidating a male lion raw. Sean, oh, oh imitate. I right. think he means imitating. That's a spell check there, Sean. Yes, got that's a, all right. We know, I know what you mean. I, I know what right, you off you go then. So, there we go. Very I think good. that's pretty good. Not very good, Byron. Well done. <laughs> James slowly sips in his juice and decides how best to deal with Byron's comment. Fernand is the aunt. Simon Burtis. Thank you, Simon Burtis, for that. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Hello, Safari Live. It is M, by the way. Hello, M, by the way. Um, that's um, some... We can't now, obviously, say all the naughty things we were saying because the boss is watching, so we can't say all the silly things we were saying. We're very serious now. Oh, dear. Yes. Oh, dear. That lion sounds sick. No, very healthy. Those lions... Ter Terry were... says your lion sounds My lion. ill. No. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you did. Look, see? Terry, I'm um, very healthy, Donna, full of the joys of life. Byron, you need more apple juice. Thank you, <laughs> Terry Smith. I shall do so. Donna, you says it was good. I'm not sure. Jennifer Baird, I agree with you completely. You sing, say he sounded more like a cow in heat. I would agree. I, I think, Jennifer, you've got that exact. Byron sounds like a cow in heat. Wonderful. Thank you, Jennifer. I obviously wouldn't have said that myself. <laughs> Sorry, but before we go on, I'd like to raise something here. Mm -hmm. And James, walk me or talk me through you naming the leopard cubs George and... Charlotte. Charlotte. Yes. What? No, James, that's not acceptable. It's wonderful. It's not wonderful. George and Charlotte, of course, the latest additions to the royal family. <laughs> and uh, a boy and a girl born to Kate Middleton and her husband, the equally balding as me, Prince William. And uh, he, their children are called George and Charlotte. No, and that is, that is, nice that is, royalty of I think that is terrible. What would you call them? Um, uh, crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's too bad. I don't think that's too bad at all, actually. <laughs> I think Crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragon would be very nice. <laughs> Liam, of course, wanted to call, call one Dark Shadow and the other Demon Slayer. <laughs> There's he there. <laughs> There's he there. Thank you, Robin. Oot. Um, that cow and heat is better than Sam's roar. Yes, Sam wasn't a roarer. Um, Valerie... <laughs> Uh, go sorry, away, sorry. it's my phone. How is Fenton doing? Valerie Fenton is doing very well. He apparently was excellent at puppy training last week <laughs> and he learned how to lie down without biting my mother, which is a distinct advantage because my mother can be quite vicious. Lol. Donna and Lynch is laughing. Lord and Charlotte and Zara are perfect names, you see? No, I don't think Do so. You know who Zara is? Who's Zara? Zara's shadows cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, <laughs> Zara Phillips. <laughs> no, she's you, very pretty. Really? Mm. Okay, well, let's googly her. That's a fine. I'll googly her. Googly her and have a look at Zara Phillips. She married and see. Um, Tyndall, Mike Tyndall. Tinder. Tyndall, uh, Mike Tyndall. He was the England rugby captain. Oh uh, right. He's not pretty. No, he's, oh, I saw that actually. Yes, I didn't like see that. Yes. Yeah. Mm, I wouldn't. I'd say like that to your say it to his face, so James, and then me. we'll see what. Ryan, can you outrun yes. James in a sprint? Yes, I can. So, Sean, I still play rugby, unlike James, and I most definitely can outrun James in a sprint, even though he is much lighter than me. I, of course, I'm saying that now before we actually. Do the challenge, and I'm sure yeah. we will do it in no, the next day or two. Why we will not? not? Be doing that. No, because I'm, I've embarrassed myself once. James, what does Zara mean? Um, Zara is the name of uh, one of the. I don't know who was her mother. I think Princess Margaret was her mother, maybe. Zara Phillips. She um, 
is a rather attractive member of the royal family, rides horses. Have we ever heard James roar? Corin, I'm James not sure. James doesn't roar. No, he doesn't roar. He bellows. Yeah, I James bellow. bellows. Yeah. Mm. I can do uh, the distress call of a goat. Would you like to hear that? Yes, I'd like to hear that. <coughs> Everybody, <coughs> the distress call of a goat by James Henry. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of that? <laughs> more <run. laughs> There we go. No more of that. Thank you, James. Terry, you think Byron just called me a wimp? I don't think he'd dare. Come on, James, let's hear you roar. There you go. I've just roared. Uh, make it. Can a guy do personal safaris for a guest and what do you need to do it? Can a guide do personal safaris for a guest and what do you need to do it? Clancy, I'm not sure what you mean. I mean, do you mean do we take personal safaris? Byron certainly does. He has his own company that does them. What's it called, Byron? Africa Revealed. And website? I, website, africarevealed.co.za. Right. Or the Facebook page, just Africa Revealed on Facebook. Very nice terms and, and conditions apply. Terms and conditions apply. But I book safaris for guests and take people all over Southern Africa. So if you can eat peri-peri chicken wings and enjoy <laughs> slightly off accent, you'll have a great time, Byron. <laughs> uh, we, do, we, do, we do have a lot of fun on safari, though. Please ignore James and his comments. They are not relevant. <laughs> thank you, Linda. It's Princess Anne's daughter, Zara Phillips. Well done. Uh, and James, thank you for an awesome leopard and wild dog sighting from Simon. Yes, James. I can't believe you got to see the wild dog. And I, was, I looked You know you drove really, past really, them, really, don't you? No, I did not. I promise you, you did. James, I did not. I, I searched that you area. You definitely did. He <laughs> drove straight past them. They were next to the road. Um, right, anyway. And I'd love to uh, tell you that I wouldn't have driven past you them. You see, no. I absolutely would have driven past them. There's no way I would have seen I them. I walked that whole end. area. I looked. Where, where were they? On the cut line. No, I drove the cut line. Yes, you drove past them. I know. <laughs> so anyway, as I, you know, I was trying to see, trying to give James a compliment and say thank you for showing us the wild dog, and he makes out as if I'm not doing my job. I'm not making that out at all. I mean, I wouldn't have seen them either. <laughs> Somebody showed them to me. But the simple fact of the matter, Byron, is that you go past them. Oh dear. As I would have done um, too. Donna Lynch, lol. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Lol, so lol, lol. lol. Uh, Ruffled, Juma Pan Ruffled, webcam lol. makes noise. Juma Pan webcam makes noise. I'm sorry about that, Murray Elena Sutcliffe. Um, <laughs> why has nobody commented on my um, goat? Distress call no, because yet. it was disturbing. It wasn't. It was, it was nothing else but disturbing. <laughs> have another drink, James from Belma. <laughs> How many names does Byron have? Byron. Uh, Byron B Dog. Uh, uh, what is your real middle name? Oh, real middle Chicken name. Wings. Byron Sorrell. That is it. Uh -huh. It's yeah. very plain. It's Byron often referred Vezzy to as Lord Byron. No, by no, close friends. Not by anybody with half a brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too much apple juice. Hi, James Byron from Cayenne. Hi, Cayenne. 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 Has such an infectious laugh. Dawn, thank you, Dawn. Thank you. <laughs> a man like Byron, you've got to be very careful complimenting. You really, you've got to do it subtly. Once a month only, if that. Otherwise, he really gets completely beyond himself. <laughs> That's not true, Dawn. Thank you very much for the compliments. James, that distress call made my asthma kick up. There we go. <laughs> Would you like it again? Anybody want to hear the goat again? No, no, we, no. You didn't please. embarrass yourself racing against Brent. At least, unlike Brent, you could still walk at the end of the race. Yes, that was an advantage, I suppose. <laughs> Um, I slept through the wild dog sighting. Bad luck, Colleen. You need to stay awake. I'm very sorry that we managed to put you to sleep with the leopard sighting, and therefore you missed the wild dog sighting. <laughs> I would attempt to be slightly more entertaining tomorrow. Brent and David first saw cubs. Names should be Leo and Diva for David. George and Charlotte are cute names, though. Thanks, Phyllis Nethercott. Uh, George and Charlotte will not be their official names. They're the names by which I shall refer to the Cubs <laughs> until they have an official name. 
That will be. Um, I'm sure that like will be called said, something else. Yes, if uh, if the guides of this area were to find out that I had called them George and Charlotte, <laughs> I'd be excommunicated, and no one would talk to me on the radio ever again. Um, but <clears throat> James, on a serious fed. note, yes. we, a lot of viewers are concerned. How is your arm? Are you okay? Well, Byron, I mean, it's been incredibly sore the whole day, but because I am a stoic and strong person, I soldiered through the day. And I managed to take two game drives. That, you see, you see what James does for all of you. He just goes above and beyond. And if you'd like, maybe I can get some of the girls from the FC to rub it better. I would like that very much. Could we you will, ask the girls will, from the FC to rub my shoulder? I will better? try that. I will try that mm. and see what they say. That would be super. Don't know if they will volunteer. Sandy, but... you don't know where Zendile is. No, we don't know where he is either. And apparently, his collar has run out of batteries, and that means that it is not pinging anymore. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do about that. We're going to have to start tracking him in the normal way. <laughs> yes, and hopefully we won't do that. So, <laughs> Byron found an owl but missed the wild dog. He must be a birder. Well done, both awesome side. He's found three. Um, no, four. Four, four giant eagle Burrows owls. Eagle owls. Burrows eagle owls. I don't believe, I think I've seen one. Yeah, so here. four in the last three days, four days. So it's been, yeah, they're yeah. very lucky. I, I've never seen so many in such a short space of yes. time. It's really great. They've either migrated in here suddenly, <laughs> yeah. or the rest of us are incompetent. <laughs> I distressingly feel it is the latter. Deborah, you say, please stay Byron. Just say that and don't put in the caps. <laughs> don't put the caps lock on.